What's up guys? Welcome to another Build It Break Garage episode. Uh, today's episode we are going to be tearing down Spike, our 1997 Saturn Coupe. This car. Uh, it currently has a rotted trailing arm on the rear that is just unfixable unfortunately. This car has like 260,000 miles on it. He had a long life. I'm really sad to see it go, but uh, unfortunately it's time I need the space in the garage or I need the space in the yard and I also need to take the motor and trans and I'm gonna put that in the ratty car. I'll swap the ratty car back to an automatic because spike is an automatic. I think automatics just do a little bit better in the in the winter. Uh, plus I like to have at least one car that's an automatic because having to drive stick every single day gets kind of old. So we are gonna be tearing spike down this weekend. It's gonna be a couple day process. So come with us on the journey as we take down spike. All right, so first things first, what I did was I went and took the taillights out of the Spike and because I have a whole bunch of LEDs that are really expensive in there, so I am swapping them over to the Red Sled. So the Red Sled will now have all updated lighting, look really nice. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. To get to the reverse lights, however, I do have to remove the back bumper, which really sucks. From what I hear, it's easy, so hopefully it goes smooth. Yeah, go ahead and watch me tear this, part, tear this thing apart. Well, that went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. The rear bumper comes off really easy, actually. It was six screws and just a bunch of pop rivets up top and it slid right off. So I got it all swapped out, as you can see. All LEDs in the tail lights, LEDs in the reverse lights. I wasn't able to change out the lights in the license plate light because it is some bulb that I've actually never seen before. So obviously I don't have an LED for it. So I guess I'm gonna have to go on superbrightleds.com and check out if they have any LEDs for that. But yeah, pretty proud of what I did today. This is only gonna be day one. Uh, tomorrow will probably be start of day two when we really start getting into work. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right to that. And now it's day two. Uh, I kind of started already working on the car, kind of forgot to start, or kind of forgot to start filming it. I've got the car in the garage. I had to move all the cars around just to get this thing in the garage. I've already started on removing the interior, which is basically all I'm trying to get done today because I don't seem to have any help that is going to be coming over, which I'm going to need once I take the motor out and drop the car on the dollies because I'm going to need help pushing it around and because I'm just not that strong. So. Uh, today I'm just focusing on getting the interior all shipped out, everything that I want out of it. I want the dashboard, the seats, and that's basically it. I just want the dashboard, the seats, the center console. Yeah, that's basically it. Just everything that makes the interior unique to this car. Because uh, the interior is in great shape and it could definitely serve life into another car eventually. But if anybody was curious as to why I'm tearing this car apart, as soon as I remove the rear seat, uh, this is why. You see the light? That's on the ground. And it's like this on both sides of the car. You can't really see it over that spaghetti mess, but yeah, this thing is rotted to hell. Now it's unfortunately meaning it's timely death, which I will say that I'm gonna miss this car quite a bit. Uh, I had a great time with it. I got the car for free from one of my customers when I worked at an oil shop. But she just wanted it to go to a good home and I gave him the best life I could for the last 23,000 miles that uh, I've had him, so. Yeah, so uh, uh, the interior is kind of hard to film. Uh, there's no real place to put the GoPro where it's wide enough for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna do the interior rip out and I'm just gonna check in with you guys ever so often. When we uh, start working on dropping the motor and everything the next day, you'll be able to see all that work going on. But uh, the interior is really hard to, to film. So uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a minute. All right guys, well, it's been uh, about an hour or so and I've got the Back seat's out. I also got all the amp wiring out of it. Uh, the back seat support and the center console. 
Uh, the next thing I do is take the seats and the door panels off and then start tackling the dash. The start tackling the dash. So uh, it's moving along pretty good. I'll check in with you guys in a minute and uh, see how far I've gotten. All right guys, so quick check in. Uh, currently got both front seats out and I started working on the dash and this is a first. I got the top dash panel off without breaking any of these clips. I have never taken one of these off without breaking at least two or three of these things. Yeah, it's going really good, but uh, I'm going to continue to work on getting the dash out and then, uh, yeah, that should be it for the day after I get the door panels. I'll check back in with you guys in a minute. Okay, and about an hour later, I ended up getting all this out of the car. I've got the center console. I ended up getting the dash out in nice in one piece without it cracking. So who knows, maybe in the future I'll flock that and throw it in Midori. But currently the car looks like this. Pretty bare bones. I gotta throw the driver's seat back in so I can drive it and park it for the night. I'm gonna leave the door panels because I don't really need those and they're not in the best of shape anyway. Uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff up in the attic and get this car moved out of the way so I can park my other cars back in the garage. And then we start on day three that we'll be pulling the drivetrain out and uh, getting everything ready to go into the ratty car. So uh, yeah, so I will see you guys on day three in like three, two, one. Okay, and uh, what was supposed to be day three is actually about a week or two after the last clip you just saw. Um, I didn't think I made enough to, or I didn't think I shot enough video to actually make one single video with the first two days, but apparently I did. Also, I don't know when, the, when I'm going to end up tearing this car down now. I actually ended up getting the ratty car working and uh, it's idling all right and everything and drivable. So I'm going to leave that. I start work at Flint Engines on uh, Monday, so I don't know when the time I'm going to have to start tearing stuff apart, but at the moment the car is still drivable. As you can see, I got most of the shit uh, stripped out of it. As you can see, I got the interior all gutted, got the dashboard out, and uh, luckily I was able to do it in a way that the car is still drivable so I can still move it around the property and not have to uh, worry about pushing it or anything like that, which would be really annoying. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know it kind of jumped along at the, or at the end here. The next video is gonna be modifying WRX bags actually to fit into a Saturn because one of my buddies just picked uh, picked up a set for his car and needs me to help him modify them. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna film along with that and hopefully make a good video for you guys. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and we'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.